Wow. Yeah. I'm so glad that you guys are here. It's Thanks really it's, it's good to us. see you. Yeah. And I, can I touch your hair? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, this it's is fun, right? So Spiky. Cool. <laughs> Chrissy and Andy joining us. Oh, he, hold on. You got. Well, it's it's an all conference call. Hold on. Uh, hello. He, hello. Yeah. This is Renee. Uh, listen, I am in the middle of a show here. I. We you know told what? you not to call her. I, that's. Listen, my agent is Chrissy a, is right over here. And, we we and told Andy's you not to call her. She is busy. She's right. doing an interview right now. I'm doing an interview right now. I'm going to have to get back to, to you later. I know. I can't believe right. it. Please stop. Please stop calling me on my banana phone. That, okay. You call her ID. Yeah. Call her ID. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. She's, well, she's signing off. But and bye. Bye. You know what? Don't call again. <laughs> okay. I love people that are as wacky as me and have an... Are you hungry? You can eat it. I am, I am. <laughs> That's okay. It's time to That's enjoy a, a bit of the banana pudding. I love it. Okay, we got to tell you guys why, uh, what the <laughs> method behind our, our um, wacky madness is. Imagine a mall full of banana cell phones ringing just like that happened. Um, okay, that's just one way Agent Neil and Agent Ginger Star are making a scene in San Diego. Okay, so fun. Explain the idea of what you guys do. Well, we kind of get, we've got this large group of, of people and we kind of get together and we go out into, you know, all over San Diego and we just cause a scene and <laughs> cause a little chaos and confusion. And Wait, are you saying it's not normal to talk on banana phones? It's all perfectly normal. Sure, yeah. Oh my gosh, I was so worried. <laughs> phew, phew. A lot of people call us urban pranksters. Yeah. Um, and that's basically what we do. We like to cause confusion and excitement so that um, our wonderful missions just kind of happen to I people. I love it. Tell me about the last mission that you guys had. Well, the last Ooh. one, we actually, uh, we started a rumor uh, on a Saturday night in downtown San love Diego. Love rumors, love rumors. Yes. We, we had 85 people show up from our group. Uh, and we met a few blocks away from the restaurant Stingery, and we started a rumor that Michael Jackson was having dinner on the roof. Of course, why wouldn't he? Yeah. Right, and as we made our way down to the Stingery, we were spreading the rumor downtown. People would leave their meals at the restaurant they were eating at and follow <laughs> us to Stingery. Our group doubled in size when we were standing out front chanting Michael's name. Michael, Michael, Michael come out. Michael. Yeah. We love you, Michael. Hey, we have a clip of that, so I want to show our viewers sure. right now about that because this generated a huge buzz all <laughs> over San Diego. Go ahead and take a look. <laughs> just because of a rumor and that's just one of the pranks that you guys have pulled you've got yeah. some really cool stuff okay first of all tell me you, you kind of briefly said how you started this how mm -hmm. did it kind of catch on uh, just it's kind of word of mouth and every time we I mean our first mission I think we had you know about 50 or 60 people came out uh, and the next time everybody brought somebody else and it just kind of builds from there. It's a big, you know, pretty much word of mouth. Chrissy, is it anything goes? It really is anything goes. I think the biggest rule is that you go for it. If you're there with us, then you, it is for real. It's not a rumor. Michael Jackson really is at Stingery, and you need to believe <coughs> it, and you need to be in it. That way, um, it's always, the moment is always happening. We can't let up for a second, or else the prank is given up. So, so. you guys are, you know, you're very believable. You've got some good acting background. <laughs> what, what do the fans say when they find out it's just a prank we don't reveal that we never reveal who we are that we're part of our group we just you know we usually have a cue when we end the mission and uh, we left we went back to our meeting point and we heard that there were actually people still there waiting for Michael well, we had all, all left already. So sick and twisted or <coughs> funny and kooky? What do you think? I think funny and kooky. I think adding excitement to San Diego, just something really different and exciting that you can participate in, something that can happen to you when you're out sometime. You never know what's going to go down. I think there really is something for everyone in our group. Now, if people are watching this this morning and they think, I want to be the brainchild. Like I want to come up with the really cool ideas, whether it's the banana cell phone or you know some superstar at the mall. How can they get in on this? Well, that's the thing is we, our our group is so diverse, and it you know everything.